Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice of Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the race of Castle Level 25. This is episode 8. This is episode 8. So this is effectively our 8th day um, of playing the game. It's actually our 7th day. Uh, cause today, yeah, so this is a Thursday today, I, planned, I started playing last Thursday, uh, in the afternoon, so this is the seventh day, but I guess it's the eighth video, I don't really know how that works, but effectively you'll see this on Friday, which is weird, um, but anyway, we are back, we are castle level 15, and from the last episode we were trying to get to castle level 16 as fast as we possibly could, we're not gonna make it before reset, I do not believe, we've got two hours and 45 minutes left before reset, uh, what we needed to do was increase our population to 70,000, uh, and we're about to do that just here with this last house. Uh, we also needed to increase our alliance hall to level 15, I believe. Yes, and then the tavern as usual. Now, in terms of the resources, we are okay, I believe. So these two things are going to get done eventually. 70,000 is going to happen. 1.6 million gold we just don't have, but we can probably find that somewhere uh, from completing a few chests uh, in the next few hours. One million food we definitely have and we have the capacity for so that's fantastic. One million wood we should have but I don't know if we have the capacity. Okay we're just there. Let's actually see where we'll come back to the rest of them. Let's see where the lumber yard is and what it's doing. It is upgrading. Very smart Mr. Gill. Thank you so much. You're doing very well. Thank you. I love you. Yes I love you too. Um, Okay, so this needs three hours to finish off. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I don't have any speed ups. The Alliance Hall needs seven hours. This thing needs two hours. Okay, so we're currently looking at uh, 10, 12 hours of speed ups are needed just to get this going. We'll come back to that in a second. 300,000 in the charcoal, which we should have easily. Yes, that's no problem. Can we fit 300,000? Yes, we can. That's all right. Uh, 2 million in the marble, which we easily have and we have the capacity for, and 1.5 million in the iron, which we should easily have and we have the capacity for. So effectively what we need is these upgrades to complete, and I actually think we're probably going to have to do one more on this if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's only level 13 now, so we're actually going to have to have one more upgrade on this, finish the houses, finish the lumber yard. And then we should, and then do the tavern. So, unfortunately, uh, we are a little bit behind in trying to complete it within the actual seven-day thing, which is what I wanted to do. Which does mean that we missed out on this thing, the feast. Yeah. So, unfortunately, this chest uh, became available a couple of hours ago. So, effectively, we are no longer able to get any of these rewards, which is a shame. So, we only got to 83. Now, yesterday I was saying we get to 86 or 87, and anything above 85 was good. So, we suck. Um, <laughs> it is unfortunate. Uh, I didn't realize this thing actually finishes a couple of hours before reset today. Uh, I don't know what the timer is on it. I think it's actually timed on when you actually first log into the game, uh, as opposed to the, the game days, uh, to make it fair. So that's actually kind of annoying, and that has finished. So we are able to claim this, though. Uh, we get uh, advanced recruitment, one of this, some tickets, and not a lot. Oh, re oh, wait. Re randomly obtain the following items from every chest. Oh, okay. How many chests do we have? 83? I think we have 83. Okay, so if I click this and go collect rewards, we've got 83 loot crates. Okay. Shall we open 83 loot crates? I think we should. Let's do it. Uh, where are they? Are they going to probably be in resources? 83 loot crates are sitting there. Fantastic. But before we do that, let's just open up this Shadow Assassin's chest. A Shadow Assassin, if you don't know, is from the event Horror from the Runes, uh, which we've not really bothered with too much. Uh, loot Crate. Shall we do this? I think we should do this. What are we hoping for? Well, to be honest, I'd be hoping for orange recruitment tickets um, and a lot of gold. I think those are the two things that I'm missing. Oh, it, I didn't know if it said Courage Middle. Courage Middle would do as well. Uh, left it. Bam. Are you sure you want to open 83? You know what we're going to do first? We're going to do three. So it's an even number. We're going to use three up. Oh, fantastic. Okay, that's already very good. Um, that's already an excellent result from three chests. Uh, so now let's do the other 80. Now let's do it in groups of 10. <laughs> I wonder if it makes a difference if you open 10. Actually, you know, let's try that. Let's test it out. So let's open 10. 
Okay, we got another super recruitment ticket. So that's one out of ten. So two super tickets out of thirteen chests. Okay, so then let's open another ten. Science. This is what we're doing here. We're doing science. Let's open another ten. Let's see if this makes a difference. We got another. So we've got three super recruitment tickets out of twenty-three. Okay, three out of twenty-three. Then let's open the last sixty. So we got three out of that didn't work at all so effectively i was if i'd opened 10 at the time i was getting and i know it could just be luck i know it just could be luck yeah but i was getting a super recruitment for every 10 i just opened 60 and i only got three so i can't, i halved my rewards in terms of the super recruitment tickets there now i did that just as a test i don't know if that's actually the case i don't know if opening them in certain ways does make a difference i just wanted to test unfortunately it's something you can only test at the very beginning of the game in the first seven days effectively um so we'll probably never test that again but if you are currently just about to finish the feast and open up your um where is it back back here so uh the feast over here and it's already gone away, hasn't it? Okay, it's already gone away. But if you are about to finish the feast, which is the event that happens in the first seven days of the game, and open up your reward chests, I would highly suggest opening them up in batches of 10 at a time. It seems to me, by that small science experiment, that you get a higher chance of orange recruitment tickets. Um, but that was very good. That was very fun. That leads us with how many orange recruitment tickets now? 15. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That means on Thursday, which is today huh. <gasps> it is today isn't it okay we're not currently in clash of provinces but on thursdays there are hourly events for opening tickets so i will have to have a think and decide whether or not we do that today or we wait two to three weeks we're not going to wait two to three weeks we'll definitely do that later today and I'll try and make a little video about that, opening those first few tickets, which should be fun indeed. I'll just have to wait for reset. But anyway, we are at this point here. What are we going to do? Are we going to speed ourselves up or not? And I believe we are. So what I'm thinking of doing is if we pop into the things here, and we go like a saw, like a saw, like a saw. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it. Faster. Come on. Quicker. There we go. Come on. You can do it. There. Ah, yeah. yeah. Speed up sale, 115 crowns. I think that's about, I don't know how much it is, uh, $15. So we get 25 hourly speed ups. That's quite a good thing. We could finish everything we need to finish at the moment. So I believe that's what we're going to do. So if you give me one second, I'll be back. Ooh. Okay, and we're back. I just had to do that on my phone. And we can see here that I just recently bought the speed up sale combination number one. So effectively, that is putting our total spend in the game to 36, 37, 47 Australian dollars. Um, right, so now that we have that, we should be able to open those up. Do we have them somewhere? Uh, or do they just come automatically? I can't remember. I think they just come automatically. Bam, bam, bam. All right, now let's speed this stuff up. So we should be able to speed you up by seven hours. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then use some of these things up, these little bits and pieces all over the place. And actually, we'll turn our dragon on, which is not currently on. So we save all those little five minutes everywhere. Bam, like a so. Okay, cool. So that one should be finishing up. Uh, this one needs to finish up. I think this is the last lumber mill we needed. Uh, five minute speed ups. Let's just use this one. Cool. Uh, and then what was the other thing? Ah, uh, this house. Uh, one hour speed up there, and then five minutes. Oops, okay, cool, that's done like a so. And the other two should be finishing momentarily, like a so. Uh, so that does mean that we have 71,000 population, so that is the population limit we needed. Uh, can we do the lumber? We needed one million wood. Can we hold one million? We, uh, we can, perfectly. Fantastic, and then it's one more level on this alliance hall is needed before we can upgrade which what's the benefit set what does it say exchange shop 
Oh yeah, okay, so we can look at that later. We don't want to worry about that. Uh, events. Oh, cool. I shouldn't. Have, I should have checked this, and I didn't check this, but that's fantastic. We're gonna get some chests from there. Uh, hurry up and finish. Twenty-two seconds. Bam. Done. Okay, so the final thing needed for C16 is going to be this and a little bit of gold. Gold we've just got because we just bought a package. That's given us gold, hasn't it? So how much to upgrade this base? Okay, not too bad. How long is it going to take? 11 hours. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, like a so, like a so, like a so. I know I don't have to click out. <laughs> it's habit. It's habit from a long, long time of doing it, even though I know I don't have to. Uh, so let's actually. Oh, the tavern needs to go up as well, doesn't it? Of course. Uh, okay, so we're not going to get it done this episode uh, because we're going to be now out of a little bit of gold, aren't we? So I'm going to have to save up some gold. Um, and I don't have enough speed ups to do both of these machines, machines, both of these upgrades, uh, which is about 12 hours each. Um, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, so this is going to upgrade, this is going to upgrade, and then we can upgrade the castle. So most likely I'll be able to do it after I finish work today, so sometime tonight for me, which means it should finish off. No, it would probably be midway by the time I do the next video tomorrow morning. Uh, but we can see then about speeding up and getting the, to the castle level 16. One thing we can do in the meantime is that our garrison hall... No, our war academy needs to be upgraded. Uh, because we're not able to rally very much at the moment. Uh, and rallying is great for getting... Uh, rallying the giants is great for getting speed ups. Um, and our garrison hall will definitely need to be upgraded in order to progress to castle level 17. So we're going to do that. So basically, we, we've just got an extra day here that I kind of hope we didn't have, but we've got an extra day, and so we're going to focus on getting our production levels up, um, training some more troops, um, and waiting for these things to finish. I mean, I could buy more speed ups, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we're going to need that ability later on in the game. And I mean, look, you can see I've got a castle level, I've got a level 70. Um, cool. So. That's not too bad. We're, we're doing okay. Uh, I'm not too stressed. I would have really liked to, within the actual seven-day period, we missed out by about four hours uh, to actually get to... Oh, no. Actually, if you take the, these things, we've probably missed out by about 12 hours in order to get Castle 16 done. But that's fine. That's fine. Not as fast as I thought I could be. And I think early on, in the first one or two days, I didn't spend as much time as I could in trying to speed up things here. But currently we've spent about $47 as I said and we have I think put 20 hours into the game in total. It has been 7 days uh, nearly exactly. Within a couple of hours it will be 7 days exactly uh, that we have spent playing um, and I think we've done alright. Uh, later on today there's going to be a little video about all of the upgrades you need. So which buildings need to be upgraded in order to achieve castle level 15. Um, and then I will also try and make a little video about rolling the first orange tickets, uh, which should happen after reset today. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to share this video as you see fit. Like it if you can, subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Bye.